Parmigiano. only by people feeling included, uh, that is respected, valued, trusted, safe, uh, and being able to be their best self. It's only by people feeling included that they are going to be able to do their best work. So that, that's it in a nutshell. So good afternoon guys. I have finished my, this is my second co-hosting gig on the podcast I was telling you guys about. Right now we are just in the process of pre-recording quite a few interviews and then once we have quite a few of them then the podcast will be released or rather the, the episodes will be released. So today that was what I was doing just now this afternoon. My lovely assistant is making, um, what is it? sweet potato brownies sounds crazy potatoes is that even enough how many brownies do, we, do you think we'll get from this so potato so far coconut oil i don't even know about this this just sounds a bit bit bougie but it's okay it's just everything that you're doing is just <laughs> everything, <laughs> everything that you're doing is just irritating me <laughs> <laughs> Bake them for like 10 15 minutes, then you steam them so essentially you just wrap them around in pa baking paper, leave it for another 10 minutes, then it's soft, then you mush it, add all the ingredients, then you bake it and make brownies. Okay. With a little little dash of ice cream this tastes so good this is the best dessert i have had all year good morning guys morning happy thursday today i'm just sitting here about to have my breakfast i'm having an acai bowl acai acacia acai yeah so i'm having my acai bowl i haven't had this in ages i have a recipe i'm going to link uh, an instagram post in the description box where i share one of my favorite recipes i shared it at the very very start of lockdown because i was having this lots and lots it's kind of like my porridge alternative when i wake up and i want to have something a little bit more heavier to fill up my stomach this is what i'll go for though today's one this is trash because i'm actually missing a lot of ingredients there's no fruit in it i put some cashews instead but there's no there's no fruit and it's too watery because I didn't use almond milk. I normally use almond milk, but I actually used cow milk. I was gonna say goat milk. Ugh. I don't think I've ever drank goat milk. I feel like goat milk. The thing about goat milk and goat goat products. <laughs> nobody asked. The thing about goat products is they really do be smelling like goat. Like goat cheese really do be tasting like the smell of goat. I feel like if you've never smelled goat, then you, you don't know what I'm talking about. But. I have smelt goats before, not that I sniff goats or anything, that's weird, but my mom, <laughs> I don't know why I'm explaining this, this is so funny, this is hilarious, when I see YouTubers over explaining something, I'm like, sis, sis, relax, but yeah, no, really, my dad has goats, <laughs> my dad owns goats in Kenya, I guess anyone who is from the diaspora, or rather, some of us who are living the diaspora, most of our parents back at home have like cattle, because that's like currency back at home, so we've got cattle, we've got goat, we've got chickens, we've got, um, what else is my dad, I say we as if it's any of mine, it's, it's got nothing to do with me, but hopefully I'm a, I'm a bring song. Let's talk about uh, bride price. This is funny because this has got nothing to do with me. Please don't be doing calculations. And please, it is it is not, it's not me. We're not talking about me, not anytime soon. I don't wanna hear it, thank you. But bride price, um, it's funny because I was watching a documentary about this probably like a month or so ago. And it, I'd love to discuss that with you guys to be honest. I, 
I love I love the comment section that we have in this in this channel. There's always so much. We talk about everything. And I think someone said that um they really enjoy the way we talk about a variation of different topics and stuff. And I do too. So yeah, bride price, let's chat about that. Because if you're from a different background, if you're not from an African background, I don't know if they have it in other cultures to be honest, but I know that we have it in Kenya. I'm Kenyan. I was born in Kenya, lived in Kenya until I was like eight years old. Literally nobody asked. But I am, I'm a Kenyan girl and do you know what, I think I need to speak a little bit more about my Kenyanness because I feel like a lot of people don't actually know where I'm from, they always assume that I'm either, I guess Jamaican or Nigerian because those are the two cultures that I'd be riding hard for, you really would think that I had like triple nationality, I, <laughs> you would, but no, I'm a Kenyan girl, that's me. So I'm sure most of us know what bride price is but for those who are new who don't know it's cool this is a learning environment too bride price is basically money and there's sometimes also gifts that are given from the groom's family to the bride's family as a, an appreciation and also at the very very start before you, in fact before you get married you, you pay like a bride price and i guess different regions of the world do different things i know that they definitely have bride price in parts of africa they have it in parts of the middle east and they also have it in like thailand um and some bits of asia as well but i guess in different cultures there's different practices and um, in kenya specifically in africa we do dowry which is a form of bride price the two are not the same but you can actually do both you can actually sometimes have to pay dowry and bride price good luck sir in fact i think i'll be one of those people because i'm exceptional to be honest but am i joking am i not who knows what i'm trying to say is it's 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 mm, it's a bit it's a bit techy still i want to know because as someone who i want i don't even want to i don't know first of all this is kind of weird the fact that i don't even want to say that i'm a feminist but i am i guess it's just some unlearning to do in a way because i feel like being called or being labeled a feminist sometimes has some really negative connotations but being a feminist isn't a bad thing you can even get male feminists i'm pretty sure that my boyfriend is a male feminist and i in in just in the actions and in the way that he treats women and the way that he thinks about women you don't have to be a man hater in fact most feminists aren't man haters the two things are not mutually exclusive we got there in the end but yeah i feel like the feminist in me is like um what's up what's up with this dowry thing are we are we paying for me like how do you quantify how do you quantify someone's worth or is it just meant to be like a token is it meant to be more like a gesture kind of thing where it's a symbol because i know that some cultures they'll write like a list of stuff and it'll be like beans rice some products it doesn't always have to be very expensive it doesn't have to be lots of money though i know that some cultures also this creates a lot of problems before the marriage even starts because one party the bride's party may be asking for too much like too much monetary compensation and it can give or put a lot of pressure and a lot of strain on the groom's family and also on the couple because it's like if the bride's family is asking for x amount and the groom's family feel that like they can't afford it that's a conflict of interest in the worst way like i don't know how i feel i don't know how i feel about the dowry how do you calculate your worth what is bride price can you calculate the worth of a human being of a human person I don't know if that's like the Eurocentric side of things interfering with like African cultures and what we do by ourselves for ourselves or I don't I basically don't know that's what I'm saying it's one of those discuss 10 marks type of things I don't even understand how I got to why am I talking about dowry somebody realized in the vlogs that I get ridiculously distracted it's true if you're going to be commenting about dowry and bride price please let us know which country you're from and then just write the comments so that we can all hear and share experiences from different cultures different nations and that will be pretty cool for for the comments i'm really looking forward to that i really really look forward to my comment section and replying to you guys that's in fact what i'm doing today today's thursday which means that the wednesday vlog went up last night it's doing really well it's got like the 20,000 views in less than 24 hours which is fantastic i'm so 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 grateful for you guys' engagement on my content it really just does make the difference and it helps me 
like I didn't feel like filming I promise you I didn't feel like filming today or even tomorrow and I have a lot of cool stuff happening and it's not always that I film that's another thing that I wanted to say I remember yesterday I was replying to some comments and someone said something that I didn't like and I was just thinking I hope you do know that a week has 168 hours like 168 hours in a week and you guys I normally upload about 20 21 minutes per vlog you cannot possibly quantify my week or possibly quantify and come to a conclusion about my life whether good or bad because of 21 minutes out of 168 hours please mathematicians do the maths and let us know what percentage in let me ask a mathematician one sec we're back so the maths has occurred i only got a c at gcse maths and it was it was it was a horrible experience i would never do it again this is the percentage of my life that you see on youtube so that is not 0.2 percent which is not even a fifth of one percent take that in not 0.2 percent which is not even a fifth of one percent is what you see on youtube so it really genuinely puzzles me when people feel like they're able to make a conclusion conclusive i guess argument or conclusion about me my life things that you see based based on that that's crazy but even the good stuff it's just not point two percent like it's not it's not much it's just what i choose to show you not even just for me for everyone on the internet all of our internet cousins i think we should all be mindful of how we consume content and what we take from content just about to get into this uber this uber is outside running late of course oh, i've even missed saying i'm running late wow Ah, let's take a moment to run a little bit later just for the culture. No, really, I need face masks. Or should I go for the white? <laughs> Babe, we need to go. Gotta go, man. Yeah, so I'm coming on down the lift. Yeah, hello? Hi, I'm just coming down the lift. I'll be there in like two minutes maximum. Uh, no problem, yeah. Thank you, bye. Yeah. Down the lift. Babe, does that count as a, as a lie to qualify for hell? I had to make it believable. The lighting in this place always looks me, makes me look phenomenal. Oh really? Yeah. Some people don't like it. Really? It's, oh. <laughs> nice, great. Guys, so this is the before we are back with Natalie. Yay! She's gonna save the world. <laughs> She's gonna save my eyebrows. Look at this. Let's get that before. And then after is gonna be fantastic as always. <laughs> but yeah, let's go. Thank you. Do you think they look a little bit fuller? I mean, you've let them grow out. Oh, it wasn't by choice. <laughs> Corona. I haven't seen you in a while. I know. Since Feb, I think, to be honest. I'm really happy. I'm happy with this side. This side looks, it always looks fuller, doesn't it? Yeah. And this one is a bit. Well, we'll make them even. Anything in particular that you want with them? Just thick. thick? As, as thick as possible. And slightly arched, or you want them more Just straight? Whatever you do. Okay. Whatever you do. Whatever makes sense for this one, because this one struggles. Okay, cool. Baby, you thinking about being an eye eyebrow tech now? Absolutely not. I remember one guy did this with my beard one time. Really? Threading it. Did it hurt? The whole thing. Yeah, man. It's proper painful. Why do you, why do you thread your beard? I, I asked the same thing. I lost a lot of weight walking. Yeah, you look slimmer. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. <Bo. laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's been proven, like, movies and, like, this. Oh. Wow. Feel brand new. <laughs> Feel brand new. How, so, what's the technique again? Please remind us for the camera. What do I need to do? Threading. Oh, what? Um, uh, care. After care or care. Uh, they work for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Stay away from anything from alcohol, like, toners, facial washes, on the brows. Yeah. And that's all. That's it. <laughs> I'm gonna leave her links, her details. How much is the service again? 30. 30 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. A 
feel amazing. <laughs> I feel amazing. I feel invisible. This is amazing. Look at these brows. Oh my god. Mm. I'm gonna walk home. I have got like just about under a thousand steps and we need to make 15,000 because obviously Dinga step challenge July we are on day five day five today so yeah uh, get on it if you haven't I'm gonna walk and I'll see you guys a little bit later on Got vanilla, got cookie, got brownie, got another brownie, I've got another cookie. It's delicious. These are from Cake Delicious and they taste so 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 good. So 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 good. This cookie is so soft. I've just never tasted look at how soft. It is ridiculous. This is from Cake Delicious. Black owned business, it's so delicious. This there's some looking forward to this. But the cookie is a 10 out of 10. Ah. <laughs> Not a 10. thing is that I have so much work to do but I've spent half of this afternoon <laughs> doing my nails relaxing and also looking for cool cute date ideas oh I don't know about you but I love an active day I like like I like things that are a little bit outside of the norm I don't just want to go to what's it called all these fancy places I'm not interested I want to do something fun I want to do something cute so I've been looking for cute date ideas because I want to organize something cute for us to do but on that topic, I wanted to see, how are you guys doing? What's up with your Bumble dates? Are we guys still dating on Bumble? I don't know if you guys have tried out Bumble, but Bumble has some amazing features on the app that can actually help you leverage and get a little bit more creative in terms of the kind of dates that you wanna go on. So they have this thing called badges. Badges are essentially, I guess it's like a highlight reel of the things that you like and the things that you don't like so that at a quick glance somebody can look at your profile and know exactly what you're about you know quick 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 please just get to the kiss get to the water i love the idea of having the badges on your profile it's essentially to just let somebody know what you're all about from the get-go real quick are you someone who's looking for something serious yes or no especially at a time that we're in right now when we're transitioning from going from like virtual dating to in real life dating you can have like on your badges for example are you someone who wants to wear masks i think we should all of us uh you can put something like that so it's like it's it's easier and you don't have to have awkward conversations you can know that okay maybe i'm someone who likes adventurous dates so i want to go on i don't know a boat ride down the thames which you can do by the way i want to go on a boat ride down the thames but I want us both to keep our social distance and I want us both to wear masks. You can communicate something like that really, really easily on your badges. And you know what? As someone who's always talking about boundaries and the importance of setting boundaries with everyone in your life, including those ones that you're dating on dating apps, I think this is an amazing feature. It just takes away that awkward conversation. It takes away you having to be the one to say anything. And it also lets you know about the other person. Because I know sometimes it's not all about us ladies. I know, I know. I want to leave the link in the description box for you guys to download Bumble. Give it a go ladies. Let me know how it goes. Remember that Bumble is a place where you have control. Women have power. And I am all here for it. So yeah, go check out the link in the description box. Let me know how it goes. If you guys have had any dates 
from Bumble so far, let me know because I am <laughs> I'm excited to hear the tea. You guys always have the best tea for me. I'm finna go do some work and then get lit. That's my plan. How about you? Guys, I forgot um I forgot my drink. Oh my lipstick has all come off. Um I forgot a drink. I need to get a drink for the birthday house. Oh, do I get a whiskey? Why the whiskey? Why the whiskey? JD honey. Ah, JD honey. Oh, my lipstick has come off. I'm so annoyed now. I'm so, so annoyed. But um, I just need to get this. I need to get this drink. Um, and then that's it. I am so excited to finally be seeing the girls. Oh my god, I haven't seen the girls in so long. <laughs> and I'm wearing my Kai dress. Look at me in my Kai dress. Hi, sir, excuse me. Could I get, oh, the JD honey, please? I always get ID. Thank you. Now I need to mask up. God, this life is stressful. Oh, God, there's out of Corona. My Uber's gonna leave me. Let's go.